High up on the cliffs of the Adriatic's Istrian coast are the remains of a city wall. The wall was built in the 15th century in order to protect against the Turks who were attempting to reach the peninsula from the mainland. Their goal was the Venetian maritime town of Piran, the most beautiful place on the Slovenian Riviera, an enchanting medieval town. An architectural, picture-perfect gem. A defensive wall was necessary, as the prosperous city was vulnerable from the land the rest of it being protected by water. On a cliff above the old town is the St. George Church with a small cemetery, a baptisterium, and a campanile. The Archangel Michael adorns the clock tower. The famous Campanile of Venice served as a model for this freestanding tower which overlooks the fortified peninsula. There's a splendid view of the closely packed tangle of red brick roofs and chimneys up to the top of the peninsula and the defensive wall on the mainland. There are some large stately buildings, but from up here, Peran looks like a city in miniature. Only the oval Tartini Square, which opens into the small harbour, looks somewhat oversized in the distance. This central monument is a reminder of musician Giuseppe Tartini. The cumbersome looking St. George Church dominates the town. It rises 36 meters high above Piran and was constructed on an earlier building. Its interior is impressive with Gothic elements redesigned in Baroque style and the radiant figure of St. George slaying a dragon. Elaborate panelled ceilings, huge Venetian paintings and seven marble altars reflect the former prosperity of this commercial town. A stone wall lined with triumphal arches divides the long church hall into two sections. A small gate located at an adjacent external wall leads to a church museum which also contains an image of St. George and various monstrances and crosses. This also leads to the remains of a lower church. But its most precious feature is 
the Crucified, a Y-shaped cross that symbolizes the Tree of Life. Pastel-colored churches, palaces, and other buildings highlight typical Mediterranean charm, along with cobbled streets and secluded corners. In the middle of Piran and set back from the main alleys is a church monastery which was built by the order of Minorites at the beginning of the 14th century. The interior is Baroque and contains the tombs of various local families. The cloister has always been a special place for both spiritual and cultural life. There was once a simple cloister with a wooden ceiling. The water cistern in the center of the courtyard was restored in 1903. For more than 500 years, the town was under Venetian rule, a time when it took on the form which we see today. And from the wide-ranging trade network of the Serenissima, Piran profited well. The main square is involved in a romantic legend concerning a blood-red palazzo. A Venetian businessman was said to have accommodated his mistress there. Several balconies and windows in Venetian Gothic style decorate the building. and famous violin virtuoso Giuseppe Tartini dominates the large square. There was once a harbour basin here, but that was subsequently filled in to create space. Now there's a small fishing port in front of it. The charm and flair of old alleys reflects the history of this idyllic town whose origin dates back to the 5th century. Ancient Greeks, Romans, Slavs, a German emperor, the Venetians and the Habsburgs. They all wanted this town, and it prospered accordingly. Indeed, the early pirate chapel of St. Clement, on the extreme tip of the peninsula, became a flourishing church. Piran has survived it all.